people of YouTube. Chris Grigo here. Age, irrelevant. Gender, undecided. I'm here to talk to you about one of the biggest issues plaguing the world right now. What has happened to tea? Ah yes, tea, that great British tradition. It comes out of the taps and we practically urinate it. You can't be to go to a cup of tea, used in any situation. Want a cup of tea, lad? Wait, not a problem. Wait. Tea is a fantastic uh, method to use food for many situations. Uh, for example, you know, you're having a terrible day. What happened? Oh, my, my, my leg suddenly caught fire when I was buying bread. My God, that sounds terrible. I'll put the kettle on. What's happened? I think I'm an owl trapped inside a human's body. That's fine. We'll put the kettle on. We'll talk about it. Anything like that. It's all good. I love tea. Well, used to. So I've been drinking tea for for a good 15 years, it's got to be. I love tea. It's so good, you know, you put the kettle on, you boil it, you put it in there, whack it in. You start, I used to have like four sugars when I was younger, to the point where you, I, there was just mountains of sugar in the in the cup at the bottom and you just sit there and drank the sugar. Oh, diabetes. But yes, tea. And a few months ago, something terrible happened. Something so terrible. I just lost the love of it. it. It didn't taste right. I mean, how is that? How could that be possible? I mean, it's tea. You have it all the time. I mean, I've had it in various mugs and I've had it in various styles all over the time and it just went away. It was... It just tasted like regret. Put it together, you sit there, you wait the kettle to boil, you put it in, and it just tasted rank. I mean, oh, you may as well have just eaten a dead cat. It's just that's how much joy I had from the, from the drink. No matter how many sugars I put in, and I don't know why, what happened, but tea's gone nasty. So I went on a mission. Yes, a mission, because that's how exciting my life is, to find a nice cup of tea, an alternative to the standard brew that we know and love. So I went the depths of various um brands of teas and i tried you know i first i tried uh what was it caramel caramel for flavor was uh, salted caramel and it there was no taste of caramel you could smell the caramel but you couldn't taste the caramel first of all why the hell would you do that if you can give it if you're going to advertise a flavor put the flavor in the feckin drink it was just like, it was literally like drinking water but with a weird rubbery sensation in your teeth afterwards What's that all about? I'll just go drink water. Mint and licorice. What is that all about? I thought, oh, this would be interesting. People around me pulled their faces and thought, really? And I kind of thought, really? But I was I was optimistic. You gotta you gotta keep your mind open to these options. Tried it. And it, it was like drinking I don't know, like a liquid death. I don't know what it was supposed to be, but I felt wrong and violated after drinking it. And then I tried a chamomile and honey, which is supposed to be very relaxing to the point where I genuinely think it's nature's rohypnol, because after drinking that, I was proper knackered. I don't know why. And then now, recently, uh, I've gone on to green mint tea, peppermint tea, and Earl Grey. Now, Earl Grey was very nice, surprisingly. Uh, I felt quite classy, you know, like all the peasants around me were like, ha, ah, please, I'm drinking Earl Grey, would you mind? <laughs> yeah, and then green tea is good, apparently it's good for you, which is helpful because I might have my healthy thing is not the best. So when it comes to vegetables, I'm very picky. I'm like, What's that? What was that? What's that green thing? Oh, I know. Salad. Pass. Anyway, yes. Teas. I don't know. Is it just me? I mean, I always have this theory that it, the, 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 the right mug has the right taste of tea. I don't know why. Like sometimes, like Christmas time, we have mugs. We put the Christmas mugs out there. All the Santa snowman crap on them, and that's probably the only part I look forward to for Christmas. And then you know, we have a nice cup of tea. It was so tasty. Uh, but then other mugs, it, it just tastes rank. It's really strange. I don't know why. But yeah, I'm having a tea turmoil. Tea oil, ha! <laughs> Aren't I clever? But yeah, that's my tea uh, debacle, uh, shall we put it? Um, tea boggle. <laughs> Come on, I'm on a roll here. Seriously. Oh, what's happening with my life? What's your favourite teas? Can you recommend any teas to me to try out? Um, I've tried practically thousands of them anyway, but if you have any ideas about why the tea doesn't taste nice anymore, is it a psychological issue? Or is it just because I'm actually outgrown, my palate's outgrown tea? I don't know. But yeah, comment in the, leave your comments in the section, in the thingy below, whatever. Like, subscribe to this video. Um, I, I'm going to start doing more of these videos. I mean, I know it's, it was quite dull in, in sort of, the, you know, the title, but hey-ho, have you seen half the videos on YouTube? May as well give it a go and join the pack. Why not? Look out for another video soon. Probably in the next couple of days. I keep saying that, but you've seen my channel. I keep saying, yeah, I'm going to do a video, and then like six years later, another video comes out. But I'm going to do more Bake Off auditions. They're going to come up. Uh, the other one you can find below.
to Keith Lyman doing an audition for Bake Off, presenting roles. But yeah, so thanks for watching. Bye. I really want a brew now. But the disappointment, the disappointment in it. <laughs>